I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories and force hands in those categories. I have a strip for each category on the card. We'll pick three and make it happen. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are the categories we're going to force. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14 again. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. So we have a, a joker, pair of flowers, west wind, white dragon, three, four, eight in dots, four, six, seven in bams, two, four, five in cracks, three, three, three. This is our only multiple. If these were your tiles, which one of these would you force and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on consecutive run. There is some potential for evens here. We do have two, four, six, eight, no gaps. Every number is represented, but f consecutive run is much more flexible. So let's focus on the fours. So we could do two through five, three through six, four through seven. Really, that leaves these as discards. For example, we could do four, five, six, seven, or we could do like numbers with fours. Let's keep the white dragon. Oh, like numbers is not being forced, never mind. But I don't wanna pass a white dragon. I don't like passing white dragons. So let's let three, four, three, four, two. Let's let the two go. Okay, here we go. We're going to, we're going to force consecutive run. Okay. Now there's a two. We have two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. Here's a north, two, three, four, four, five, or two, four, six, eight. No gaps. I really don't like passing white dragons. Three, four, four, five, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. Let's let the three go. Oh, and there's the three. But look, we got a dragon. Oh, and a one. One, two, four, six, eight, dragon, three dot. The three dot we gave away. So we could maybe still, oh, I keep thinking about like numbers. We need to force these. Don't be distracted. We're forcing hands. So let's let the one bam go. And the three to another player. 
four five two four six eight. The two four six eight ham with dragons does not use flowers, but there is a two four six eight ham that uses four six in another suit. Let's let the five go. Now this is a little bit risky odds, but at least it's one of each suit. Now we have a six and look three dot. Now there's a five, two, four, five, six. Here's four, six, three dragon. I think we can let the dragon go, but here's a hand we could maybe play. Four, uh, two, four, six, eight concealed. Or we could play two, four, six, eight in one suit. Let's let the five go. Four, our first multiple. Well, we have a pair of white dragons now. So two, four, six, eight. I think we can let these go now. We'll play two, four, six, eight, probably the first hand. So let's pass these three. Keeper. And we have tiles we can pass right here. Keeper. Now, dragons. Two, four, six, eight. First hand under two, four, six, eight. Single pair, Pung Kong. We can use this for the six. All we really need is a flower. Six or eight, and this hand will be set. Because of that, let's risk. Well, let's think about this. We could risk passing a white dragon because I don't think we gave away anything that could build up here. Anytime you're doing the optional cross, you could get tiles back. So the question is, do we risk giving our opponent a white dragon? Or based on what was being passed right here, keep it for joker bait and ask for two. Because None of these tiles were going around in the Charleston. I think I would keep the Joker bait. Let's just take two. We got the three dot back. So we have two discards with Joker bait and we have our hand right here. First two, four, six, eight hand. No gaps. Now, wins and dragons in consecutive run. Flower. Oh, that's not a flower. That's a joker. Joker flower. Joker flower. North, south. One, two, six, seven in cracks. Two, three, four, nine in dots. Pair fours. No bams. Which of these categories would you force? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play consecutive run and build around the four. One thing I did consider is news pair hand, but we're not forcing a pair hand. Even though winds and dragons are in there, the pair hand category is not up here. We need winds and dragons and we only have two. 
I think I would play consecutive run. Let's hold the wins because we do have tiles we can pass. We have one, two, two, three, four, six, seven, nine. That's pretty risky. One, two, three, four, or two, three, four. Let's let these go and pass defensively. Three dot, that's a keeper. We did get a south. Let's pass. Oh, we got a two or three. Two, three, two, three. North, south, eight. I try not to pass two wins together if I don't have to. We could play one, two, three, four, third hand down, or two, three, four, flowers, second hand down. Let's let the three go. And let's send the south to a different player. Now we have a six, two, four, six. We're playing consecutive run. Single pair, Pung, Kong, five. We really don't need that. Oh, here's an interesting situation. We have evens and a west and a north. East and west go with evens this year. That would be the fourth hand down under Winds and Dragons. Let's pass the north. No keepers. Well, we did pick up a pair. One, two, three, four. That's the third hand down. Let's focus on that. Let's pass the six. Two six. Two suits. One. I don't think I would use that though. One, two, three, four. No gaps. Let's pass these three. Whoops, <gasps> flower. We got a flower. Three, four. One, two, three, four. All oh, these flowers. I think I would keep the white dragon. Let's discard two. Oh, two, two. No keepers. Three discards. Well, really, three discards in Joker bait. One, two, three, four. Pung, pung, kong, kong. These are potential kongs. No gaps, but kind of light. The other option would be keep the flowers and use this as Joker bait instead of this as Joker bait. So I would keep these. See what comes in. Discard those first. So we have a consecutive run with options. Okay, we got to make winds and dragons work. Look what we have here. Wind, dragons. Let's keep the two. There is a year hand in the wind and dragon category. So let's keep it. So let's break this multiple up so we can pass defensively. This is going to be challenging because of all the sixes. Let's see what happens. South, dragon. Okay, let's break up these sixes, one of each suit. Oh, 
flowers oh my goodness i hope nobody would ever pass a pair of flowers but you know what it's happened to me well no i didn't pass two flowers i got two flowers before we're going to keep them now we have six six nine i would not do that i would break up the sixes i think i would want to use these flowers flowers news dragons let's let the two go no keepers so we're looking for news with dragons i think this is an okay pass north and west north and west we have a two and a six we only need singles here let's let that north go Uh oh like numbers we have no gaps this hand is actually set we can kong kong ready to win on an east i would risk passing like numbers in this case now to be safe you could actually pass two and one blind but because we're so close i would risk it oh we got a west let's pass three okay we've got discards now i really hope nobody would ever pass a pair of flowers it's been known to happen though we can kong kong ready to win on an east three discards for a wind and dragon hand if i were to get a pair of flowers in the charleston i would be speechless or fall out of my chair one or the other it's rare when that happens but it has happened i get pairs white dragons all dragons all winds like numbers some people do not pass defensively so when you do this exercise at home, if you get pairs like numbers, a white dragon, all wins, something like that, go through the exercise and accept them because those kinds of passes come through every now and again. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.